Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa doing a shakedown of the BRZ Street Drift car that I've been working on. Something that I've been having a little fun with. This uh, BRZ is kind of a street tuned drift car on some uh, Azena RT615Ks. So this car is definitely uh, very fun. It is a 2.5 swap turbo in this BRZ. So we're going to be shaking it down today because this is going to be the car that I'm going to be releasing to you guys for the new Drift Academy that I'm going to be running. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll found in the description box below. Let's get to it. So we're going to go full shakedown with this car. Like I said, this is a street tuned Drift BRZ. And we're going to be using this car in a new Drift Academy that I'm going to be starting. So a lot of people, oh, should probably stay in fourth. A lot of people ask me all the time about tips and tricks for drifting and stuff like that here in a set of course. Uh, so, oh, we're gonna wreck our car on the first try. We're good, we got it. So what I'm going to do is actually bring out a whole bunch of tutorials here in a set of Corsa basic starting from the ground up with this street tuned car so you guys will get a chance to drive this car and you know follow along if you're a newer drifter or if you just want to drive this car and have some fun and this car will progressively get more powerful the interior and everything is going to change into say pro spec and pro style cars going all the way from the basics of drifting from getting your fine-tuned wheel settings and settings on the car and stuff like that all the way to full blown out tandem and tandem drifting and stuff like that so it's a series that I've been wanting to do for a little bit of time and a lot of people have asked for it I did a couple you know beginner drift videos a while back in the old uh, I believe it was Tando Buddy cars or something like that and a lot of people uh, liked it and wanted to follow along with it so I decided to bring back a whole series on it along with of course Forza content coming out here very soon with the new motorsports coming out so we'll be doing this tutorial style stuff for set of course of drifting getting this car fully on spec'd out for say uh, full blown out competition driving and stuff like that but just something a fun series to follow along with if you are a new drifter especially or just want some tips and tricks on how you know to get kind of up in the rankings here in a set of course of drifting now I'm not the say best drifter in the world here on a set of course but I do have a, a pretty good uh, pretty good feel for what I need to do so that is something that I've been wanting to work on for a while and I decided to just bring out a new car for people to follow along with and drift simultaneously with me in these videos. So this is a, like I said, a street tuned drift car. And it's roughly about 350 horsepower. Um, and it's quite grippy, quite fun. And it's based off of my old physics, if you guys remember, my street. Uh, my street cars that I used that a lot of people seem to love and it's still probably one of my favorite sets of cars with my C6 and stuff like that. So the inertia values and everything on this car are based off of real world um, weights and transfers and stuff like that that I found on the, uh, on the interwebs to replicate as close as possible to correct suspension and stuff like that. Uh, if you guys remember that streetcar pack, it was worked with by me, Addy, and a few of the other guys that I used to drift with Christmas and everybody to fine tune them to get them to be the probably the most realistic style streetcars as I could. So that's what we're utilizing here. We're getting into the hairpins now. I'm utilizing on this BRZ. This originally was a CSR2 model that was imported in. Uh, I have to get all the information from the original creators and stuff to, you know, of course, give credit because I did not build the model on this car 100%. Uh, of course, I'll be doing some modifications and stuff to it, um, but the physics base, the power bands, uh, drivetrain, everything like that are things that I've worked on to get it to drive the way it is, and I think we're, ah, we're absolutely killing it with this car right now here. 
on the mountains. So this car is a lot of fun to drive and I'm super excited to bring you guys along for the ride with getting this car, you know, from a street car and progressing people's, you know, knowledge with the car and building it up to full blown out comp cars. Along the road of doing these tutorials, I will be hosting uh, basically Drift Academy style online live sessions where I'll be in there drifting with this car and probably the other street cars and stuff like that to get you guys back involved Ooh. with the drift community here on my channel. I do appreciate you guys all coming back for all the videos and everything like that. We're getting back into the cold winter season, which in time means a lot of uh, live sessions, a lot of live tandems and stuff because we can't go outside and do fun stuff. So we're gonna be doing a lot more here on the channel with lives and stuff. And like I said, with fours and everything coming out as well. So it's gonna be that. I thought we were gonna lose that one. The car's so good. I love it. The left foot brake. Getting used to the pedals that I'm rocking now. I did finally take off the uh, the Fanatec pedals. We are rocking full Moza pedals now. So we do have auto down blip and everything now. So the full chassis is now full Moza racing. So big thank you to them for being continued supporters of the channel. This car gets it. Oh man. I'm super excited to bring this car out to you guys and let you guys get your hands on this car because this car is so much fun. If you can't tell, we are inches from those walls. And we just completed that entire mount without dying too much. So like I said, just a little quick, you know, look at the car. It is obviously just a standard street car right now. As you can see, the BRZTS was e, the interior and everything on this car. So got to do some more tweaking of the interior. How I want to with uh, probably some, you know, NRG oh, seats and probably change the steering wheel and stuff. But like I said, this car will go full blown out competition car, getting caged and more power and stuff like that, but it is about 340, 348-ish horsepower with a 2.5 liter turbo. And this BRZ rips on some nice uh, grippy Falcon S, or uh, Falcon, you know, RT 615Ks, which was probably the street tire that I like to choose. Ooh. So if you guys are excited for this, let me know down in the comment section down below. Like I said, this car will be released to you guys very shortly once I start releasing these uh, kind of, you know, drift tutorials and, you know, to help try and help people out with uh, the knowledge that I've learned over the few years of doing this and passing it on to everybody else because with a set of course two coming out next year and everything, we need to get everybody into this and get everything uh, going. Log down. So, once again, I thank you guys for coming back, watching this video, a big thank you to you guys for supporting the channel. And if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, and you guys wanna see this stuff and get this car and some other cars that I'm gonna be releasing here soon, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the notification so you can get the bell notification so you can get the videos as soon as they come out. So it's always that. Thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm going to leave you guys a little replay angle of this car. I'll see you guys on the track.